One last clip then from our Florida science teacher. He's now talking about DNA. We'll try again. So let's compare something else. Let's find something that's a little closer to home. Let's try a chimpanzee and compare that gene in us and in a chimpanzee. So let's try that. What he's doing now, if I just mute his sound, he's, uh, he's using a computer simulation to try and show the similarity in DNA between a chimp and a human being. And he's showing there that there are loads and loads of areas where the DNA is similar between chimp DNA and human DNA. And he is saying that that is evidence for evolution. So his, his last final point is that, uh, uh, is that DNA proves evolution because you've got the similar information. 96% of the DNA, he says, is shared with a chimp. Now, I've seen that statistic quoted in all sorts of different ways. Some people have even said 98% of our DNA is shared with a chimp. Now, I don't really care what the percentage is or not, because I've already told you that it's illogical to use that as evidence for evolution. After all, if chimps and humans have a common designer, you would expect there to be similarities in their DNA. And if they eat similar foods, you would expect those similarities to be closer than certain other creatures. But this percentage is misleading because they don't tell you all the facts. For example, although they, it might be that there's very little DNA shared in common between humans and platypuses, that's true, but there is shared information. What you will notice is that we share 92% of our DNA with pigs. So does that prove that we evolved from a common ancestor with pigs? In fact, I can also show that we share 60% of our DNA with bananas. So maybe we have common ancestry with bananas. Maybe humans have all evolved from bananas.